Hello guys, this is Damian from ForexBot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live Forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm looking at the 5 minute chart of the American dollar, Canadian dollar Forex pair. And I've also attached at the bottom of the chart a well known indicator that is called the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, also known as the MACD. So, the MACD indicator consists of a couple lines and a histogram. The blue line is the MACD line and the red line is the trigger line. Both lines are calculated using moving average functions uh, on the price action. So, the MACD indicator has two basic signals. The first one is the MACD crossover. This is when the blue MACD line breaks the red trigger line as you see whenever the price uh, whenever the blue line breaks the red line like over here in various direction here we see a price decrease and then when the the macd lines cross in bullish direction we have a price increase and again and this is how the macd follows the price fluctuations and the histogram represents the difference between the two lines so when the histogram is green creating green bars this means that the blue line is above the red line when the histogram creates red bars this means that the blue line is below the red line so pretty much you can visualize the MACD crossover using only the histogram so the other very important signal of the moving average convergence divergence indicator is the divergence so when the price action is bullish and the top of the MACD indicator are uh, is uh, the tops of the MACD indicator are bearish this means that there is a bearish divergence between the price action and the MACD this creates a very strong short signal on the chart uh, which uh, implies that the price is very likely to create a sharp run in bearish direction the opposite is absolutely uh, applicable to if the price action is bearish like in our case over here notice we have decreasing tops decreasing bottoms and at the same time the bottoms of the MACD indicator are bullish like in our case we have a bullish divergence on the chart so this means that we're currently observing a bullish divergence on the chart which creates a strong bullish signal this is the reason why I plan on opening a long trade. Here it is. And notice that at the same time, the price action resembles something like a falling wedge pattern. Absolutely. And as you probably know, the falling wedge is another pattern that has bullish functions on the chart this is why i plan to combine some price action rules uh, in the face of the falling wedge pattern and the macd indicator to plan a long trade for this reason i will wait a bit to see a breakout through the upper level of the wedge which will give me a confirmation of an eventual upcoming price increase uh, and at the same time I will support this breakout by the current divergence you see on the chart, the bullish divergence. Also, I should emphasize that the two MACD lines have already crossed and uh, this also supports eventual bullish scenario on the chart. So I expect that, I believe that it is very likely for the price to break the upper level of the wedge and to initiate eventual further price increase. Then I can hold the trade either until the price completes the vertical size of the wedge in its widest part, which I'm currently measuring. Here it is. Something like that as a target, starting from the moment of the breakout. Or maybe until I see an opposite break of the two 
lines of the MACD indicator. But since I'm still not sure which will be the better alternative to use in this case, I cannot say yet which signal I'm going to use because I will decide this during the trade depending on how the situation on the chart is developing. Interesting trade. Waiting for the price action. I assume that we might be getting the breakout now. Notice that the price really struggles breaking this level that acts as a strong resistance currently and now it attempts to break it and even a small breakout I plan to use it. Still waiting for the price action. Nope. The price did not break the upper level of the wedge. Furthermore, it created a dodgy candle that signalizes potential reversal. However, the price is now increasing volatility, attempting to break the wedge. And I believe that this might be the right moment for my long trade. This is why I instantly bought the American dollar, Canadian dollar. Notice that this time I did not wait for a candle to close above the level. However, I have many other bullish signals on the chart, which is the reason I don't want to wait anymore. And I believe that the MACD crossover over here and the big bullish divergence we're currently looking at are pretty much stronger than this small dodgy candle. So I pretty much disregarded this type of a bearish signal. Um, I need to visualize my levels because they were off the chart. And notice that the volatility is now increasing and the price attempts to start a bullish run. At the same time, I'm going to place a stop loss order below the lowest part of the wedge, the lowest bottom, uh, which is somewhere over here. Yeah, this is okay as a, as a stop loss level. I will even make it a little bit like wider in order to to be able to contain eventual price fluctuations uh, you've probably noticed that i said that i will use the macd signals or the wedge like rules in order to close my trade which will which probably brings the question why am i using a stop loss order uh, the thing is that uh, when i'm using a stop loss order i i'm not like it is not necessary that the price hits this stop loss order in case the trade is losing one. So I really plan on relying on the wedge and the MACD indicator. However, in case some kind of a very big bearish candle appears on the chart, some kind of a bearish shootout, I really want to be protected in case something really unexpected happens on the chart. Which is the reason why I place the stop loss order. And now I'm marking my entry point at 1.3461. And I will also put a mark on the stop loss order in case the price really hits the stop in bearish direction. Something I don't uh, I don't plan <laughs> on getting. But uh, yeah, we can say that the breakout is already a fact through the upper level of the wedge so i believe the trade is very pretty adequate and now i'm going to pause this video and i'll come back to you later with uh, results from this trade okay guys i am back about a little bit more than one hour later to tell you that i have already closed the trade because the price after Following a consistent bullish trade, the price rapidly started decreasing after a slight MACD crossover, and I immediately closed the trade at 1.34, uh, 83, 84 approximately. 
and uh, after I closed the trade I started shooting the video which is the reason you are not currently seeing the trade open but the best thing is that I already collected and the other interesting point here is that uh, the price actually completed the target of the falling wedge chart pattern you are seeing with uh, with pink on the chart and even extended further but since uh, since I saw that consistent bullish trend I thought that the price is very likely to continue trending upward and this is the reason why I held the trade and after the price completed this candle over here started shooting down which is the reason I immediately closed the trade uh, on the first pullback it created in bullish direction and I closed at 1.34 uh, 3484 8384 something like this so now uh I rem I repeat one more time that this trade was taken in bullish direction as a result of a breakout through a falling wedge chart pattern in a combination with a strong bullish divergence between the chart uh between the price action and the MACD indicator. And now I'm going to do the calculation in order to see what did I do in this trade. So I entered at 1.3468 and I exited at 1.3. 34.83 which is uh, we'll say we you from 1.3468 to 1.3483 is approximately 15 between 15 and 16 pips something like 16 pips since I closed at 1.3483.9 which is like almost 1.3484 so I'm gonna take it as 16 pips which is 0 0.0016 from the exchange rate of the American dollar Canadian dollar forex pair and when I divide this number by the entry price at 1.3468 I get a result of 0 0.001188 and when I multiply this number by 100 I get the percentage profit from my trade which is about 0 0.12% uh, profit from this trade that takes like uh, 16 pips. So I hope you watched this video. Thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBowl.com. Looking forward to see you on the next live uh, Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy and safe Forex trading.